Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Small Basic. Now you can get started in Small Basic simply by going to smallbasic.com as you can see here and clicking on the download link. This will then download everything that you need once you've selected your version. So for example here we can select English and just click on download. It will download as you can see here and then when it's downloaded simply double click on the installer to install the program. Now once you've got it installed open it up and you should see a window very similar to this. Now the window is divided into several areas you've got here the code editor this is where we can actually start to write our code. You've got the IntelliSense wheel here so I've just literally typed in the letter T and I'm now using my arrow keys to scroll up and down to select the bit of code that I want to write. Quite quick and easy. Now you can also run your code when you're ready by clicking on the blue arrow here that will execute the code. You can click save as obviously to save your file and give it a sensible name and then open it up later to use again. You can open up an old file which you've previously saved or you can just create a new window to write some more code in. So let's write our first line of code. So I started off by putting text window in. I'm going to put a dot in next, a full stop, and I'm going to write a line here. Now I need to open up a set of brackets and open up a speech mark just by pressing shift and two and just type in a little message. Don't forget to close the speech mark and close the bracket. In almost every programming language this is the same. When you want to print something to the screen you have to use the command specific to that language, open a bracket, open a speech mark, your text goes in the middle, then you close the speech mark and close the bracket. So that's our first program written. Let's click on the run button. And here you go. We have written our first word and we've written hello world to the screen. That's a success. Well, I'll see you next time for the next tutorial. Have fun. Bye for now.